All right, so uh, this week I'm going to try and finish up the gauges. Get this bad bad boy uh, all finished up on that end. So check it out. I got some wire and some other parts. So look what I got. So I did a little bit of shopping. So I got some wire covers. I've got for the door panels, those, uh, what do you call it? Those little plastic pieces. You can snap it back in. And then I keep seeing people use this stuff, this uh, marble mystery oil. So I figured I'd check that out, see if it helps. And then I got ground wire. And then I've got some inline fuses, because the fuses on this thing, um, there's just no empty spots. And then I got connectors, more inline fuses. Got power wire and the fuses themselves. I did realize I forgot the connectors, but I don't know. Maybe I can figure out a way around it for connecting at the battery. Um, but let's let's do it. Let's do it. Bam! What are you doing, Louie? Crazy animal. Yeah, these directions are crazy. I'm gonna put. Uh, picture of all these directions on the end if you want to scroll to it and read through it so right now I'm just trying to figure out how to connect this stuff up so it says looking for different ports I know one goes right in the top of the intake manifold uh, but I'm just trying to figure out where the other ones go all right so I'm gonna post up a picture that I found that helped with the uh, the oil pressure as far as locating it that the um, the port so check this out I took off uh, my air cleaner and then I found this bit in the back which I'm assuming has to be it because there's no other spot. <clears throat> this one I know is where the coolant temp or the engine temperature goes. So it's got to be the oil pressure one. There's nothing else back there. So what's really funny, I don't know if I can connect it. There's like... Uh, four different ports so I don't know if I can just pick one but look at this somebody just put a tube with a little golf tee on there talk about some Mickey Mouse stuff so this part's easy you just stick that piece in Oop. and that's how those pieces go on that side so you stick that all the way to the end That's that's the easy part. That part's easy. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's do the easy stuff first. Let's install these bad boys on the door panels. Plus, that's gonna be the most fun because no more rattling, baby. All right. Take this stuff. All right, panel clips, baby. Let's get this bad boy off. All right, so you can see I've got a couple of them already, so that's good. And then these things slide on super simple, it looks like, I think. Do they? Uh, these on here. I spoke too soon. Okay, this should. There we go. Yeah. That's weird though. These don't have the, like the slice. I wonder if there's an older version you're supposed to get. That's okay. There's enough with the slice in them. 
Somebody probably did this before, I'm assuming. So this is something lodged in there. Oh, weird. Oh, this is janky shit in here. should be good. Uh, what's this one? Ooh, I guess it does come with the old ones. So I got this uh, kit that just has a mix. And so there's two of these. So I think that'll work. Uh, never mind. I don't know how to do that. That's okay. got one that's stuck. I think there's a uh, obstruction in the hole that I didn't catch. Oh, yep, sure enough. Somebody put... something to pull at it. Bear with me. I don't even know. Uh, they put one of these. seen one of those. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> wow. So much better. No more no more rattling, man. That's crazy. So so much better. That rattling was driving me nuts. You know what's cool with that? Is those pieces were so cheap. I mean, it was like a couple bucks for whole box of them so that's a really super simple fix super easy I'm still working on the gauges but um, I got a little stumped and a little frustrated so I took a break doing this figure hey go back go back and restart all right let's do this door
So this one has literally none of them. So. Boom. Boom. How many? I got three. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three on this side. some pliers. Huh. Must be the old school ones. I should fix the rattling. So I put WD-40 on this. And look, there you go. Let it soak for a little while and it's back working good. That hinge was not barely able to work before, so that's awesome. Where to connect the oil uh, pressure gauge. So Jim Everest, very helpful. He's a realtor in uh, Chandler, Gilbert, Phoenix area. I'll put his information in here. Uh, he's somebody that I highly trust, I've worked with for years. If you ever need help with anything real estate related, reach out to him. Anyways. 
I'm trying to figure out where to connect it and I'll show you where my challenge is. Piece that I hook it up to um, and if I take these things off it's got these bits on here right but the kit that comes with it looks like this so how does that connect and is that the right area so I'm sure there's people that are more knowledgeable than me with this if you know please put it in the comments I'd really appreciate it so now the next thing um, which I definitely know how to do is this bit so this is for the temperature so I got a plug right here on the top right here oh, can you see it right there so I'm gonna drain uh, I'm gonna drain this down I'm not gonna drain all the coolant out but I'm gonna drain it down far enough where I can open this up without having just fluid leak everywhere so let's do that now all right hopefully this doesn't go crazy That's probably a little better angle. You can't see it right now, but the liquid coming out is like this red stuff. Why wouldn't it be yellow? Did they just put the stuff they had available? There we go. So I do have a bucket underneath it. You're wondering. Ah. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, come on, come on, come on, baby, get back on there. Come on. Oh, man. Ah. Wow. That was crazy. So I got that hooked back up. You can see the bucket. See what I mean? It's red. I know that's just a different type of antifreeze, but I would have thought they'd have the yellow stuff in here. So now, where am I at? I can't even see myself. Oh, there we go. So now I'm going to pop this bad boy. Dang, that's really on there. That is really Might need some leverage on this bad boy. Alright, I'm trying to get this bolt off and it's kicking my butt. Right, 
So this is the bolt. That's the culprit. Colossal pain. I'll get it. I'll figure it out. Well, it's uh, beating me, but I'll still get it. So that that screw on the top, whatever you call this bolt, this right up here, can't get it off. So I'm gonna do some uh, research. I, well, I probably just need a bigger tool. So I'm gonna find a bigger tool. I can't believe it. I got it. It's amazing. Nice. Check it out. Got it out. Boom. Uh, so now. I'm gonna take this bad boy, that'll go just like that, but uh, you wanna put this stuff on here. I don't know what you call this tape, I think it's called plumber's tape. You wanna make sure and get the, uh, the threads so you don't have antifreeze leaking out. Boom. That should be good. And then I'm just gonna drop this bad boy oh, in. Bryce, I need to go underneath that hose. Oh yeah, good call, Bryce. Under this hose, you think? Yeah, it has to follow the rest of the hoses. Um. All right, so. Obviously being careful not to uh, thread it the wrong way and mess up your threads, that would be bad. That would not be good. Huh, hold on. Size. I usually put this just straight in there and it had a lot of play. This wasn't like all the way down. And then so I was just doing some research and I found out it's because it's the wrong way. You got to put this bad boy in first. So put this guy. Alright so I got that piece in and then just getting this piece. Yeah, now you can see there's no play in it. All right, now the tricky part, adding the antifreeze back in. So that's probably gonna make me run out of time right about here. But the good thing is at least I got one piece of it going. Uh, there is a lot of really helpful videos out there that I found when it comes to installing this stuff. And I didn't realize there's actually quite a bit of difference with some of these gauges. I didn't even know there's mechanical versus whatever the other one is. So I got mechanical gauges. I got these gauges just because they matched um, my instrument panel. I wasn't even thinking about whether they're mechanical or not. 
So, but anyways, you can see now. Well, I don't know if you can see, but it's right here. Now we got that piece in. All right. Who wants to start this bad boy up? Let's check it out. Boom. Look at that. these gauges and painting that's that's the projects I got going right now so like and subscribe so you can uh, see when the next videos come out I usually make a video every week sometimes two a week and uh, watch Vitus Auto Garage and uh, if you need a realtor use Jim Everest all right boom baby oh like that <laughs>